Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and yesterday I told you that we was going to make a, a envelope for this card, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to calculate it, and then show you the sizes and everything. Alright, so this card is, what you do is you measure your card once you get it folded up. This card is 8 inches long, and it is 4 and a quarter inches tall. This one is going to be too big to make a card that you're going to lay in like this and it has all the little fold overs. So we're going to make a regular size long envelope. So what you're going to do is take your 8 inches and you're going to add an inch and a half onto that because you want a half an inch on each side to make a score line. And then you want just a little bit extra room so that's that, what that half will do. So 8 add an inch and a half, that'd be nine and a half inches wide. And then for your tall, since it is four and a quarter, now it's going to have to fold up, so you're going to make it twice as tall as this. This is four and a quarter, so four and a quarter and four and a quarter is eight and a half. So then you're going to add a couple more inches for your little flap. So eight and a half, so let's do this. There is eight and a half right there. And then that's going to give me a two inch flap to fold over. And I think that's going to be plenty. If you want a larger flap to fold over, then just make it a little bit longer. But right now we're going to go at, it's, this is 10 inches. So I think that's going to be enough. Now go back to your nine and a half inch side and you're going to score at one half inch. and nine inches so that is one half this is a thick cardstock one half and nine okay then you're going to turn it one turn and you're going to score at let me look at my notes make sure i don't tell you wrong you're going to score at three and a half and at eight so that's three and a half and eight. Now I use this craft colored cardstock because I liked how it matched that flower right there. All right, go ahead and fold and burnish your score lines. Now we're gonna do some cutting. So this is gonna be our little top flap that's gonna fold over. This is the bottom of your envelope. So these two pieces right here, you're gonna cut away up to that score line and make sure that you cut out the score line. So in other words, you will cut on the inside of the score line. Now when I get to that line right there, I'm just going to angle that just a little bit. Then I'm going to do this side the same way. And then when I got to that line, I'm just going to angle it just a little. Then you're going to turn it all the way around. This is going to be your flap, and you're going to cut these pieces away right here. When you get down to that score line, just angle it just a little bit. Same thing over here. Angle it. Okay, so that is what you have. You see it's looking like a long envelope. Now I'm going to go ahead and round the corners up here at the top. This is going to be the flap that folds over, so I want those rounded. You could also round these if you want to, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now this is going to fold in. So I'm going to do it just like that. And on my envelopes, I always use score tape. It just holds a lot better and it grabs quick. So I'm going to need to go up about right there. Then go ahead and pull the backing off your score tape. And then you're going to lay those in and fold this over like that. 
and I've got a little bit of tape showing right there. So I'm just going to pull that off. Okay, so there's your envelope. Fold over like that. See, that gives me plenty of fold over. So let's go ahead and put our card in there. Now I, may, I give it a little bit extra room because I have that dimension on my card. Slides down in there well and it closes up well. And what I use to close them with is I use score tape. I put score tape down through here and then when I start to close this up to seal it, to put it in the mail or whatever, that I just pull that backing off and fold it over and it's done. But that is your envelope. That's how to make an envelope for this size card. Okay guys, that is it for this tutorial. If this was helpful for you, please leave, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And when that little bell pops up, click that bell so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And I will leave all the measurements for this as well as how you can calculate for other cards that you make that are a little bit odd size over on my blog. The link will be directly below this video. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.